Guys, I'm Master Arcade, and today I'm bringing you the third edition of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Warfare? I start these intros. Amazing! Warfare, tips and tricks, and uh, today we're looking at another hard point. And uh, we've done the last two, we've done Detroit, and we've done Retreat. Now we're looking at Solar, which is probably the most hectic hard point that you could play. I'm pretty sure that everyone would mostly agree on that. Um, every, besides maybe Biolab, but Biolab can get pretty uh, out of hand really quick. So, as always, we're going to start off with this first hard point, and as always, the first middle hard point is always scrap time. Scrap time, scrap time, scrap time. I cannot stress that enough. Scrap time is huge in this game, and why scrap time is huge is because if, it, if the game comes down to 10, 20 points... And the, te the other team's capturing that last hill. If you can get more scrap time than them on this middle hill, you're going to be able to get more points when it comes to the rest of them if you have good hills and bad hills. This first this first hill is huge. Now, people can come from everywhere on this hill. Um, the main way to influence spawns on this hill is either have someone post glass and up here. And uh, in this building, that's going to force people to spawn back in the back and funnel through there. As well as the same thing on this other side. If you have someone posted up on top of here, everyone's going to spawn from the front. But usually on this map, spawn the first places for spawns isn't going to matter. People are going to come to this yellow balcony. That's a popular spot. As well as in cut uh, right here. People will jump on top of this and even use that as well. People come from the bottom. People come from glass hole down there. And then the, uh, the real thing that throws people for a loop is this pipe people love using that pipe you can uh you used to be able to capture the hard point from in there you can capture a momentum spot from in there but um people use that as just something to uh take people out quickly and get the hard point moving on to the second hard point you actually can influence some spawns here if you post someone up on top of this or just have people kind of using ars back in here or even in this window you will force people to funnel down from the top street which is actually um, and then you'll be able to, if you have an AR, you can pick people off, run down the street. You can get them coming through, um, maps. And, uh, which, clarification, most people don't, uh, know. Some people call this Windows. The real call out for this that I found out is maps. So for people who may be wondering about that, that is what that is called. So, um, again... People will start funneling down through here, and the same thing is always for the other side. If you have someone posted up here watching, you'll have people spawning up on top. Now, if you want to do something else, and you have people, some if you have someone posted in the hill, you have two or three people, they will spawn back glass and vice versa. So you definitely want someone over here because then they're going to have to funnel through pipe, and you can kind of uh, most of them will funnel through these three lanes. Now, as we're going back through this last one, this last one is a huge one because this one involves the most amount of pinching when it comes to uh, breaking the hill besides this last hill. Because what you can do is you actually want people to come through this side. You want two people from that side, one person in this one, one person in this one. And as soon as you get in the hill, you, you want someone in the hill and you want someone on top of the hill. Because on top of the hill, you're going to be able to take out those extra people. You can pop them from there if they come through there. They can hop back. Get people in the back. The only thing that they can't watch is this little room, which means the only thing that the extra person in on the team has to do is watch. That's it. Little room. So, um, what that's going to do is it's going to free up some t uh, handling. And then another thing, if you're on top of this thing and everyone goes down, but there's there's time to get jump in the hill. Now, um... Moving up to this other side, again, split pushing is a thing. You want at least one or two people on either side, and then have another person, at least one person, come through mid, because what mid's going to do is when people are focused, because usually what you'll see is people will start walking out here, shooting people like this. Same thing for the other side. You'll see people over here, and what you could do when you're the mid person, come up behind whichever people need help, come out, bop, bop, brap, brap. Run over here, brap, brap, and look at you. You're amazing. People love you, and people will hire you. That's not true, but, I mean, you have a better chance than coming out here and dying. So, you do what you got to do. Um, the main two places to watch on this hill, of course, is that other side. You can use this to head glitch people coming from behind the van and um, hopping on this side as well. Uh, you can watch this thing and uh, just have someone kind of sit here and watch mid. Now, as we move back to the other side... This hill can be the most hectic if it's not that middle hill. 
Um, the way to pinch this, really, you need someone on this balcony. You need another person on this back balcony. Kind of watching things. Maybe they can watch a little room like that. And then you need um, the rest of your people. Either someone come through little room or come through this back area. People who love laying down here. The two places to lay down are actually back here. You can lay down. And uh, if someone like tries to do the other thing, you can shoot from that. And then the same thing from the other side. You can see people funnel through that back area if they're not boosting too fast. Other place to watch is actually this... Uh, you, this it's kind of like a glitch, but it's not really. People love to sit up here. They, they're on balcony levels. So they can actually shoot people off that. They can see people funneling through back there. They can see people coming from the back spawn as well as the... Uh, the yeah, the little room. As we come back through mid, this is another place for scrap time. So I'm actually going to touch on some other things real quick. On this back hill, spawns. Um, this back parking area can actually influence two different spawns on two different hills if you have someone posted back here you can kind of head glitch this and what this is going to do for this hill is spawn everyone in mid that mid area with the second hard point is everyone's going to spawn there and you can sit back here and pick people off one by one if they're trying to jump over this as well as if it, if you're on this hard point it's going to again force people to spawn mid and uh have people have to try to wrap back here to get them or else they're just going to funnel through that front you really don't want people uh, spawning in the back. That's an easy spawn for people. So if you if you find yourself getting trapped back here, try to work your way around that other hard point. Same thing for the other side. If you see people spawning in this back area down here and coming up, try to work your way back into this area. Have people flank if you need to. Get those extra spawns and help people help your teammates out. Now as we move to this uh, second hard point, uh, playing from this, there's a few things that you can do. This head glitch is a huge thing that you can use, as well as you can actually sit in between the pipes and look down. Uh, I was going to say downstream, but that's not water. Down road, I guess. And uh, find people. If, you're, if you have a sniper rifle, you can actually look through this window and see all the way into that window. Same thing for the other side, as well as from that... Uh, from up in here is actually a good place to watch search and destroy you can actually if you jump up here he doesn't want a mantle up oh, hold on maybe you can't do that I know you could do up oh, I'm maybe I lied maybe I lied I thought you could get in that area because you can get on this side so I don't or, oh wait that's why you can hop on this pipe on this side so I mean if you're on defense it's a good place for search and destroy if you can get there quick enough I guess I don't know anyways um there's not really much influencing on this. There is for that side, this side. But other than that, we're going to move to the next hard point. Um, which a lot of people will actually hop up on here. Once again, you're not in the hard point exactly. So if you find yourself without teammates, make sure you hop in when you're up here. But this is just a spot that you can sit in the corner. Same thing for this back van. You can actually hop on. Once again, you're not in the hard point. But you can kind of walk back and forth and check people. As well, this is a good spot to watch Search and Destroy Bomb. You can see it from here as well. And once again, you can influence spawns from back here. As well as something that I like to do on this hill. If you find yourself with a team that's a lot are staying in the hill and you're dying in the hill. You need someone that can actually roam. Now, roaming will actually help you get a few kills and soften the blow when teams are pushing. What I like to do is if I'm back here and I find out that <clears throat> people are just funneling over there. But two or three people keep dying. I will actually hop back over here hop up on top of here shoot some people shoot two or three people and then hop back before they start spawning again or shoot people off of the spawn it's a good way to keep the flow going and uh, help yourself get kills as well as help help get some of the weight off of your teammates now as we move to this hard point i wanted to touch on something and that is rotating now rotation in this game type slash game mode is overly 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 a essential to just help your team and get those extra points now here's i'll tell you what i'm talking about towards the end but basically rotating is getting there before the other team now usually you want to do that about 10 seconds out especially if you're winning 10 to 12 seconds out is a good time to get yourself over here get that scrap time and get set up if you're losing you won't find yourself uh setting up that much because Rotating that early because you'll have three people pushing the hill and one person staying back and getting that extra time. So in that kind of situation, you won't actually see that. But rotating is key because um, going from one side of the other to the other 
can really help out your team. Now, as we drop back to this other, um, this other spot, I want to touch on rotating a little bit more because if you rotate over here, you can actually get set up when your team games. Um, the last thing that I want to touch on for this last hard point is actually this bot back corner. It's a good spot to sit, but once again, you're not in the hill, so uh, just if you find yourself not getting points, just hop in. You can kind of head glitches if you want to get a couple points. But I think that's about going to do it. Besides uh, this head glitch right here, you can watch people. And, of course, you can head glitch people here and come through this and watch people. But anyways, as always, I'm Master Arkeo from the Arkeo Network. I hope you guys enjoyed this hardpoint video. This is the third of the hardpoints. If you like this, leave a like. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment saying which maps, which game types, or what else you need help with. As well as leave a subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. As always, I'm Master Arkeo, like I said before, and I will see you guys next time. Adios.